Imagine you are walking in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. You're walking on your own, chopping down the branches that have fallen in your way, when suddenly you see a man waving at you from the distance. As he gets closer, he says, Assalamu alaikum, a fellow Muslim, you think to yourself. And immediately, you feel a special connection with that man. Have you ever wondered why Muslims say Assalamu alaikum? And how can this phrase be better than all the other greetings in the world? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm your brother Abu Abdus Salam speaking to you from the blessed city of Mecca. That's Mecca al Mukarramah. You see, before Islam, Arabs greeted each other with phrases like an im. Sabahan. But with the rise of Islam, Assalamu Alaikum became the universal greeting among Muslims. The Prophet Sallallahu was asked, what is the best thing in Islam? So he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, feeding others and giving the greeting of Salam to those who you know and those whom you do not know. And this hadith was reported by Bukhari. Subhanallah, this one phrase, Assalamu Alaikum, that most of us use on a daily basis without even thinking about it, turns out to be one of the greatest deeds in Islam. In fact, this beautiful hadith takes us back to some of the core teachings of our religion, unity, peace and brotherhood. But why was this greeting changed with the coming of Islam? The word salam, which translates to the word peace in English, means harmlessness and protection from evil. So every time you greet someone with salam, assalamu alaikum, it's not merely a greeting like hello or hey, you're essentially praying to Allah for their safety and peace. Isn't that beautiful, brothers and sisters, that every time Muslims meet, they make dua for each other's safety from all harm and evil. In addition to that, one of Allah's names is also As-Salam, and this is intertwined with this greeting. So when you say As-Salamu Alaikum, it's as if you're invoking Allah's blessings upon the person that you're speaking to. It's no wonder this greeting is superior to all others. You're seeking both protection from all harm, and you're asking Allah for all good to be given to the person you're giving Salam to. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he associated spreading Salam with true Iman or faith. It fosters love and kinship, two fundamental principles of our ummah, of the Muslim nation. The Prophet ﷺ said, You will not have true iman, true faith, until you love one another. Shall I inform you of something which if you do, you will love one another? Spread the salam among yourselves. Subhanallah, such a simple act, yet it strengthens bonds, reduces conflict and unifies the hearts. In fact, it builds love between us as Muslims. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned that we get more reward while giving salam by adding the following words. So, saying Assalamu Alaikum gives you 10 good deeds, while Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah gives you 20. And saying Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu earns you 30 good deeds. Allahu Akbar, it's so easy in our beautiful religion to earn good deeds and raise our ranks in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what about when someone greets you with assalamu alaikum? Well, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, a Muslim has five rights over his fellow Muslim. He should return his salam, he should visit him when he's sick, he should attend his funeral, he should accept his invitation and pray for his mercy for him, meaning he should say yarhamuk Allah when he sneezes. So this hadith shows us that responding to a Muslim salam is obligatory and both a right and a duty. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَإِذَا حُيِّتُمْ بِتَحِيَّةٍ فَحَيُّوا بِأَحْسَنِ مِنْهَا أَوْ رُدُّوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حَسِيبًا When you are greeted with a salutation, then return it with a better one or at least the same. Surely Allah takes good count of everything. So this ayah shows that it is obligatory, mandatory for us to reply to the greeting of someone who's giving us salam by at least equaling it or bettering it. So if someone says assalamu alaikum, we must at least reply by wa alaikum as salam. And if someone says assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, then we must at least say wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah. We're not allowed to just stop at wa alaikum as salam. And if someone says assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, we must also at least equal it by saying Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As I mentioned earlier, the phrase Assalamu alaykum is not just a greeting. It's a prayer, a gesture of peace and a sign of genuine love and care. So let's strive to spread salam more often.
Instead of greeting each other with hey or hi, let's try to say assalamu alaikum and make this beautiful dua for one another. Don't forget to share this video with others so you too may get the reward of their salam. Once again, I'm your brother Abu Abdus Salam speaking to you from the blessed city of Mecca. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.